Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And I want to show you an update today with the orange cigarillo pepper plant. Um, it's been about two weeks since I last updated you with this plant, and I want you, I want everybody to see what's been going on. It's basically been about 120, maybe 122 days since I started this plant from seed. And, well, actually since germination, really. Because it took about a week from when I planted it to for, for the sprout to come up. And it's about that time when this, the, the peppers are starting to change colors. You can see when I pan around a little bit over here, beautiful looking peppers. Now, this is the first time I've grown this plant from seed up until fruits. So I'm extremely, extremely excited and happy to try this pepper out. Now, it was supposed to go from basically like this like nice green. You can see a couple peppers right, right here next to my hand. To a, a basically to the or, to orange like a yellowish orange back and then I guess to a red. Now I thought this plant is basically gonna stay with that orange color, but you could see as I spin this plant around, most of them are actually turning red. So I tried one of them maybe like three days ago, four days ago that it just fell off by mistake when I was in here taking off some of these dead leaves. Now the reason the leaves are dead is because I sprayed it with uh, the neem oil and the peppermint and the essential oils I had and the soap so that really, it does, although it kills the bugs that are on the plant, it does damage the leaves and it takes a while for the plant, plant to kind of bounce back. Um, overall I'm really really happy with the grow. I don't mind that the leaves are falling off. Um, it basically had a couple, some ripe bugs on it so I gave it two rounds of spring. I mixed one gallon of water with one ounce of neem oil, maybe about 20, 20 drops, something like that, of peppermint essential oil, and a tiny, tiny splash of just like some Dawn soap that I had laying around, just to make it a little bit more sudsy and hopefully stick to the leaves a little bit better. Now I sprayed one day about half a gallon, and the next day another half a gallon. So it just took two days of spraying, and it killed all the bugs these leaves started to turn yellow and they had these see as soon as I kind of touch it they kind of fall off you can see they look pretty damaged um, they have these like black spots on it so when this when the plant uh, when the thripe punctures the back of this the back of the leaves or the front of the leaves it creates these like little holes and it sucks up the nutrients and the water up through the leaf so you really got to make sure that your plants are nice and healthy. They don't have any spider mites or aphids or any type of bugs. If you do see something, definitely try to spray it as soon as possible. The longer you wait, the more they're going to spread. So after take, taking care of that, uh, the leaves are starting to fall off, but it actually stunted the growth a lot. It stopped the growing at that point. That's why you see some of these peppers are really small and some are nice and big. So it was supposed to be all approximately maybe like three inches, four inches peppers. And this one just fell off right as I'm spinning it around, so I guess might as well see it up close. Now, the plant itself is very prolific. It produces so many peppers. Let me just show you guys real quick. Kind of take a bottom shot, see what the best angle is to see all the peppers. Now, look at this beauty. You see some beautiful oranges, some greens, some yellows. Microphone fell off. One second, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, so you could see some beautiful looking colors in this plant, and really, really happy with the growth. Look at that, amazing looking growth. Now the plant is basically two feet by two feet, as well as two feet tall. So nice and condensed, really compact. It's a really bushy plant and it's kind of taken over this grow space so after I'm gonna harvest the peppers I'm probably gonna uh, cut this plant back <coughs> excuse me and probably possibly start over I'm gonna see I'm debating what to do the root system looks really healthy also let me lift it up um, I left for a couple days I had to go on a little trip so I just filled this thing up with just two ounces of water has no nutrients it's just water I just wanted to make sure it didn't run out before I left because it was running dry right the day I was leaving so I just filled it up and I'm gonna be replacing the nutrients later today but overall doing really really well 
and definitely gonna harvest most of these peppers. All the red ones, I'm gonna try the difference between a green one, an orange one, a red one. I want to see what's the best time to harvest this plant, and or for what I like, really, I guess. Um, for someone else, it might be a little different, but give it a little try. I may even do a little video trying this pepper out. I'll see. Uh, overall, really happy. Definitely, we're gonna be back soon for more, guys. Sorry it takes so long to make these episodes. It's really hard for me to, uh, to find the time to record. But I'm gonna try to make more ready space for, for you guys. Lots of videos. Hopefully coming out soon. Um, as always, if you liked the episode, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And if you feel, feel up to it, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how things are going. As always, thanks for watching. We'll be back soon for more.